Alright, today we're fishing a grindstone lake. Uh, most people as far as at this lake usually fish by the dock or by the boat ramp, but this whole lake has a ton of fish in it. It's just a great environment, family type environment. You can bring your kids out here, fish off the shore, and it's just a beautiful looking area. And, and just the whole area around Rodoso is amazing. It's probably the premier place in southern New Mexico to actually catch trout. The state just stocks a ton of fish in here. They're, they're stocking every week during the summer, every other week during the winter, and anywhere from a thousand to two thousand, sometimes even three thousand fish will be put in at one time. You're not going to catch monsters. On occasion, you might get some decent fish, but you're going to go from the nine to twelve inch range. But it's going to be an amazing time, amazing uh, time as far as out here fishing, and you'll just have a great time as a family out here. Here we go. Fish on garlic salmon egg. Bubble rocks. Look at that clear water. That's nice. Got a net mat coming? <laughs> Garlic salmon. There we go. Oh, he looks a little. Come on, little boy. I got blue though. All right, fishing fire bait in lakes is a very, very simple way and method of doing it. This is a quarter ounce egg sinker here. Now you slide your main line right through that. Then we have a barrel swivel attached down to four pound fluorocarbon leader. You know, fishing for trout, you don't really want to go much over six. Now, the reason why I have this barrel swivel here is so this egg sinker isn't all the way down where your bait is. You know, and you're giving that little bit of length so it's sitting up in the current. So when I run it, I'm running about uh, 36 inches of fluorocarbon down to a size 12 egg hook. And you're pretty much just gonna cast it out there as soon as it hits the bottom, just reel in a little bit and keep your line a little tight. And then you'll just feel and pick it up and boom, boom, boom. Now this egg sinker, you know, as you see, it slides freely. So this fish, if he wants to take it, he feels no resistance of that sinker. So you can just keep going. Really like salmon egg, there it is. Two to two. Do we have a double? We have, we have double. a double. Alright, I'll hold the net. Put it on the same net again. Ooh. Little beam to them? Oh, that's not bad. Let's see if they're twins. Twinsies. Oh, Jody catches them all. Oh, oh. This is not the first double we've caught on Firebait today, and I have a feeling it's not going to be the last. Got him. This, this is ridiculous. Insane. Instant action. Once he comes down. There we go. Hey, Sean. We're on the way down. Just been constant action. Look like how fat that little guy is. Yet another He's double. Cool as heck. Look at the that. Difference thing. is just a little difference in size. Come on. All right, we're gonna go a little more in depth about this leader line. The reason why I choose 36 inches is because you don't want your dough bait right on the bottom. You know, as you know, dough bait always floats. So 36 inches is pretty much just keeping you up out of those weeds or in that striking zone of those trout. You know, because they're just cruising the top of those weeds or they're up higher depending on your height, but 36 inches is a go-to length. 
So another really good bait today was rainbow fire bait. You know, we had very good success today on this bait. It's got great colors, great scent, and uh, the fishmen loving it. Like I said, not too much fire bait, just enough to cover your hook here. Just like that. Oh my gosh, I saw that just get rocketed. <clears throat> All right, showing you something different today as far as using fire bait on the bottom. Most people are gonna cast it in, let it sit, and actually just put a rod holder on. When the bite is on, our recommendation is make sure you have contact with your line, make sure you're aware of it all the time. As soon as it gets to the bottom or on the way down, it's getting hit. We get a lot of hits in that transition time when it gets to the bottom, it settles, bounces up and down a little bit, it will hit it at that point. If we leave it soaking too long, it just sits there. It seems like the bite has not been as good. So we're gonna do this, I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing. All right, as you see, just cast it out, letting the actual line roll back in is what we're doing. Keeping contact with my fingers as far as the line, trying to feel any bites on the way down. Then it settle, settle, taking up some of the slack on it. You just notice I didn't set my rod down like most people do. Just set it on the ground, pull in the slack, and let it sit there. I get a lot of hits this way. Is your bait still falling? It's still falling on the way down. I just got tapped. There it is. Look at that. It didn't even reach the bottom. On the way down, instant action. All right, that's gonna be about the average size fish you're gonna catch here in Grindstone. Nice little basic stalker from the state of New Mexico. All right, I'm gonna show you how to tie up and rig your setup for these trout fishing fire bait. Now, this is a size 12 eagle claw salmon egg hook. I'm using a size 12 because we're releasing a lot of these fish so other anglers can have fun and catch them too. So this is a simple, simple knot. Let me set this pack of hooks down here. Go through the eye of that hook. Now I like to leave myself a little bit of line, pinch it together. I take my finger and I spin it. You know, probably about 10 spins like that. I usually tell by the, the little loop down there like that. Take that tag end, go right through that other loop that you just created. And then you just cinch it down like that. And you work it down on both ends. Work it down, work it down. And that's a basic knot. Then you trim that little tag end you have down there and you're ready to go. All right, so clock is now starting. Keep in mind, each one of these guys has already caught and released basically two limits of trout. We're gonna see how long it takes for Mike to get bit on his chartreuse garlic fire bait. We're now at about uh, 15 seconds. I'm looking at the timer and uh, it's at 21 and I already saw a bite. There it is, 24 seconds. Any questions folks? Do you think fire bait works? Incredible how many fish we have caught on Ponsky Firebait. All right, I just caught this beautiful little fish on some chartreuse Firebait, and I tell you what, caught about 10 to 15 fish in about a half hour. It never gets old, you know, catching these beautiful little rainbows, letting them go home for other people to enjoy. Today's episode of Ponsky Outdoors comes to you from Rio Doso, New Mexico. We're actually in southern New Mexico right now. It's amazing. This may be one of the most southern places in North America that you can catch rainbow trout literally on every cast if you have good bait. Today, that good bait for us was Potsky Fire Bait. You saw the guys switch up between three products. They started out with garlic salmon egg fire bait, then they used chartreuse garlic fire bait, and they used rainbow fire bait. Every one of them caught them easy limits of fish. You'll see, we caught several limits of fish and we put them all back just for you. Now, we caught and released many fish and you can expect to do the same thing if you come out here with light line. That means four pound test. 
and that means having good bait just like this fire bait. Now one of the great things about coming to Grindstone Lake, it is only inches from a town of Rio Doso, and it's a place that gets obliterated by anglers from all over New Mexico, Albuquerque on south, and people from El Paso and those from West Texas. It's an area where people come to enjoy the pines, to enjoy the clean mountain air, to enjoy cooler temperatures, and excellent trout fishing. Now because of that, New Mexico Game and Fish shows up frequently. That means during the summer months, they'll come almost every week. During the cooler months, they'll come every other week. It leaves a massive inventory of trout here in the lake for you to catch. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.